Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, I'm going to show you how to calculate a running sum, also called a running total, also called a running balance, also called a cumulative total. It's got a million names. I'm also going to show you how to do a running average, too. Same thing, whether you're doing sum or average, works the same way. Today's question comes from Spencer in Mississauga, Ontario, one of my Platinum members. Spencer says, I have a simple spreadsheet that tracks invoices for a customer. I added a new column to calculate the running average of all of the invoices. Is there a way to write a formula that I can drag down the column so it automatically adjusts for each row? Yes, we can certainly do this, Spencer. It's called a running sum, running total, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to show you how to do it. First, I'm going to show the quick way because I know a lot of times people are looking for solutions. They just want this, the quick solution. Show it to me fast. And then I'll go back and explain everything that I do. Okay. All right. All right. So here I got a spreadsheet. We got an order ID, an order date, and an amount. And you want to put a running sum here. Okay. Here's the fast solution. Come down to the last row. Put equals sum. We know our sum function, right? And then in the parentheses, do the whole range there. And then press enter. Okay. Now, that's the sum of that whole column there. What you're going to do is click here, come up top to the formula bar, click inside the C2, that first set right there, and hit F4. That'll make that an absolute reference. Press Enter. Now, nothing appears to change, but watch this. Now, click on it again. Grab the autofill box, the autofill handle. Click and drag it up the column, and there you go. And, yeah, you can ignore all these errors that show up here if you highlight all those and just click on that and go ignore this error. It's just saying the formula omits adjacent row. That's fine. But there you go. There's your running sum. And it works the same way for averages too. You wanna do a running average, you can come down here, say equals average, open it up, select the whole list of amounts, press enter, all right? Click there, click on the C2, hit F4 to make it an absolute reference, and then drag it all the way up like that. And there you go. And you can ignore all of these. And there's your running average. Same thing. Okay? That's the fast solution. Now, let me explain what I'm doing. Let me actually get rid of this stuff here. Okay. Now, normally, if you were here and you wanted to get a sum of this guy and everybody above it, it's just the first one, right? So you'd say sum of this to itself, right? And that, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, in this one, you'd say equals the sum of these guys, right? And that's perfectly fine. That works fine. Next one down, same thing, right? Sum of these three guys and press enter. Okay. Now, if I do this and drag it all the way down, whoops, grab the autofill handle, drag it all the way down, uh, that's, that's not right. That's not right. What happens is autofill is trying to be helpful, right? And it's just, it's, it's not getting the references correct that you want there. So that's not a good solution. So what we have to do is we have to use an absolute reference. The absolute reference says always point to the same exact cell. Okay. That means don't move it relatively when I pull the autofill down different rows, right? So here we have to basically say equals the sum of this guy, but make it absolute, right? That's that F4 again, or you could type in the dollar signs colon let's see when you do that though sometimes in that first cell that's why i like to start at the bottom sometimes it does that it, it gets rid of it for you automatically it thinks it's being helpful come up here and click right there and do that and press enter okay see we got that's that's absolute and that one's relative relative reference means it's relative to whatever row you're in so as i drag this down now see it works because we're going down with the second value relatively to the row that we're on, but the C2 always stays the same. So this is always the sum of that, then the sum of that, then the sum of that. See that? The second term can move. And then, of course, you got to ignore all these dumb errors. You ignore. Same thing with the average, right? Equals average. And I'm just going to type it in. Dollar sign C, dollar sign 2, colon C2. Press Enter. And then we can autofill that down. Boom. And then ignore the stupid errors. <laughs> yeah, there's ways to turn that off. I talk about that in my full course. So that's it. It's not that hard to do as long as you understand absolute references. 
right? Don't make that term move if you drag with the autofill handle. If you wanna learn more about this kind of stuff, go watch this video next. It's about moving averages, also called rolling averages. Essentially, every, whatever number you pick, like every five, the average is that one plus the five before it. So in the next one, it's that one plus the five before it. And so it creates more of a, a rolling average. You can see how the average changes over time. And also for those of you who follow my channel, you probably know that most of what I do is Microsoft Access videos, Access Database stuff, right? So in this video and its extended cut, I show you how to do a running sum in a check register database. I'll show you how to do it in a report and also in a form. So check that out. You'll find links to all of this stuff down below. If you wanna learn more, about running balances, running totals. I cover them in my Excel Expert Level 5 class. We cover all kinds of stuff. Running balances, some ifs, some ifs, rounding, all kinds of cool stuff. Trigonometry in Excel, there's a lot you can do. I got a whole ton of Excel lessons available on my website from beginner through expert level, right? Lots and lots of stuff. And beginner level one is absolutely free. You can find it on my YouTube channel or you can come to my website and watch it. I'll put links down below. But there you go, folks. That's going to do it. That's your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. I'm excited to announce that I'm creating a brand new series of lessons focused on programming in Microsoft Excel VBA. If you've been looking to take your Excel skills to the next level and learn how to automate tasks, write custom macros, and unleash the full power of Excel VBA, these lessons are for you. Sign up now on my website at the link shown. You'll find a copy in the description down below the video window, and I'll send you more information on this exciting new series. If you'd like to see me make more Excel tech help videos, post a comment down below and say, I want more Excel. The vast majority of my videos are from Microsoft Access, the database program, because that's been my forte for the past three decades or so. However, I love Excel and I'm more than happy to make more videos for Excel and Word and PowerPoint and all the other topics that I teach. As you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, so make your voice heard and let me know you want more Excel videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you have down below. I do my best to read them all as soon as I can. And also, be sure to share this video with that person in the office that always asks you Excel questions. Or, you know, that family member, mom, when she calls you and says, hey, I can't do this, well, send her a copy of one of my videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Just click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when I post new videos. If you'd like to become a member of my channel, click the join button down below and you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos and one free beginner lesson every month. Gold members get access to download all the sample spreadsheets that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use and a free expert level Excel course once a month after finishing the beginner lessons. And platinum members get access to all of the previous perks plus all of my full beginner courses and one new developer course every month after finishing the expert levels. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you're looking for the links, click where it says show more down below the video window. YouTube actually does a pretty good job of hiding this thing. You'll see a list of other related videos, other information on the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when I post new videos, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Excel Level 1 course, check it out now. It's absolutely free. It's over 90 minutes long, and it covers all the basics of Microsoft Excel. And like I said before, even if you don't need it, I'm sure you know someone that does. That person that always is asking you Excel questions, well, send them this link. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just a dollar, and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. And if you like those, come to my website and I've got tons more lessons for all levels. I cover everything from the basics all the way up to advanced functions and more. And while you're on my website, stop by the Excel forum, post any questions you have and join in the conversation. As always, thanks for learning with ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm Richard Rost. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.